Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077. So, as you can see, I am back in Victor's clinic once again because it was time for another upgrade. Uh, the tier 5 cyberware had become available, so I spent a lot of money on upgrading all of it. And as it turned out, I was actually a few thousand eddies short at the end. So I did a few more scanner missions to collect the money. And afterwards I realized that I can actually sell old cyberware for a small but decent uh, price. So I was able to recoup a little bit of that money. And I have one empty slot at the moment, but my capacity is uh, completely filled, so I can't actually uh, get this one at the moment. And there's one that I can unlock over here. Also, I'm going to assume that tier 5 is probably the last tier, because while it did give me the option to upgrade my cyber deck, which is currently tier 5 plus, it didn't upgrade to tier 6, but to tier 5 plus plus. <laughs> However, I'm not sure if it's really worth it because it was very expensive in terms of parts. And it didn't really seem to do anything. All the stats were the same, at least the ones that are displayed in this, you know, info pop-up. So I'm not sure what exactly is accomplished by upgrading to tier double plus or whatever. I mean, some of the other upgrades from tier 5 to tier 5 plus, they have like a marginal improvement for some of these stats, but upgrading the cyber deck even more? I don't know, I can't, I can't tell what is accomplished by that, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. But yeah, um, I guess uh, this is going to be fine for a while. And while I was doing the scanner missions, um, I did get a message from what's his face river the detective from the last mission and as always i want to read the messages on camera so let's have a look at that hey v it's river question would you be willing to testify against holt and han <laughs> hey river sure don't count on me can't stick my head out right now <laughs> i mean this would be the sensible option, you know, to stay out of it, and the one that Johnny would um, suggest. But as we've already established, V is kind of the queen of stupid decisions, so I guess I will say, yeah, sure, I will testify. Thanks. Might not be necessary asking just in case. Okay, well, I guess we'll see. Okay, so now that this is done, we can go and do something. I have one idea what I would like to do today. Maybe I will take a quick look at Misty's shop. Okay, but she's still standing in the same spot and I guess she won't have anything new to say. And yeah, I mean, our prophet Checking them is out? no more. Nah, Chima mine needs to work here, that's all. Hey there. What were we talking about? You gonna wait till I finish what I have to say? From where? Donate now! Whoa! What the hell happened? Oh no! Oh no! Did the necromancing aliens from Alpha Centauri kidnap her as well? <laughs> okay. That was weird. That is a real conspiracy here. After the abduction of Gary, um, his disciple has vanished as well. <laughs> Okay. Um, anyway, what I was uh, thinking about doing today is um, taking a look at one of these street races. It's time to find out what really revs Claire's engine. Her first race of the circuit takes you through the heart of Night City. Back in my time, people who won races like this could count on free drinks for a lifetime. <laughs> so you know, not real long, but still. Okay. You have convinced me. Didn't you owe me some that sounds like a decent price. Let's maybe um, use the fast travel option here. Um, okay, I mean, this is the closest one. And I think I have like a decent hang on my bike 
at this point. <laughs> but I'm guessing that I won't be able to use a bike in this race because didn't she say something about a gunner? <laughs> so uh, I guess that's going to be a problem. I mean, someone could ride at the back of the bike, I suppose, but I guess we will have to use a proper car for this one. So I hope um, it's going to be fine. It really depends on the car. Some cars handle fine and some are just awful. So if I fail, then maybe I will actually go and buy a few cars and try to fight one that I like. Um, I think I'm not going to get involved in that, whatever that is. Um, call Claire to start the race. Okay, uh, let's do it. Um, let's call. Claire, you coming? I'm already here. Great. Be there in a flash, promise. Right on. See you soon. Wait, hold up. Which rig are we using? Okay, so we can use hers, and since I don't really have a decent car, let's just try her car. Yours. Okay. Beast's ready to roar. Be right over. Later. I mean, she has been working on that car for a while, so I'm sure it's going to be a fast and uh, robust car. All right, let's sit and wait. Yeah, done it before. Yep. Ooh, I bet a bundle on our win. Losing's just not an option, eh? Hey, look, Samson. Fresh meat. Uh. Hmm. Be embarrassing to lose to a rookie. It would be. Chill. Gonk will probably crash out on the first bend. Well, I will try not to, because that would be embarrassing for me. But yeah, quite a lot going uh -huh. on here. Even the police is here. <laughs> and they don't care. I mean, this clearly looks like the setup to an uh. illegal street race. And they're just watching, apparently. Okay. Anyway, I gotta go and talk oh, to Claire. Was. Here, what am I supposed to think? I hey, yeah. hey, V. Good to see you. So how's it look to you? <laughs> um, I'll tell you after the race, I guess. Give me my take once we cross the finish line. Provided we arrive in one piece. Hey, focus on winning. Yeah, I'll go heavy on the throttle. And it looks like the cops don't really care, huh? NC badges are okay with this? And see, I just can't see a problem around the stack of Eddie's put in front of him. <laughs> of course. Solve every problem, don't they, Eddie's? Mm-hmm. And what about killing people? No consequences for corpses in these races? Cops don't care who dies. They just funnel the data through their accident reports. <laughs> Bullet to the brain counts as a traffic fatality? Depends on the street. Okay, in Night City apparently it does. So, any advice before we start? Any tips before we roll? Don't take your foot off the chew. My job will be to slow everyone else down. Ultimately, it'll be speed, not firepower, that'll win us this race. All right. Go fast. Got it. Oh, take this shard. Uh, what shard? What's this for? It'll show you the route. Okay. You'd be driving blind without it. All right. I'll take it. We need to hit all the checkpoints or we'll be disqualified. If you want to hang a bit, do. I'll be in the rig. When do we start? The shard. It's all on there. All right. Well, let's have a look at it. Welcome to the adrenaline-fueled world of Night City Racing. Leave the competition in a mess of twisted metal and maybe one day you'll join the ranks of all-time greats like Grey Falcone... Krista Margaret and Dean Russell. Burn your name into the streets and be remembered forever. <laughs> this shard will be your guide in this year's four route circuit. Three in the city, one in the Badlands. Teams who finish at least two of the qualifiers in the top three will earn their spot in the finals with a chance to take on last year's champion, Peter Sampson. Roots NC R Master V77 is pre-programmed with an overlay that, that'll guide you on the track in real time via your optical implants HUD. What this includes? 
countdown to start, total number of required checkpoints, route direction, current time and standings, number of checkpoints crossed, a live feed of the race announcer. I wish you good luck and clean turns, our master. This software, virus free and data encrypted. Our master reserves the right to upload changes to root data as necessary prior to race start. All right, sounds straightforward enough. And it's basically just pedal to the metal and she's going to do the shooting. All right, get in Claire's right. So here's the beast. Um, First elimination rally coming up. No, I think Everyone I would. Ready? Not like it matters. Too late to back out anyway. This one. Strap in, pray to your gods, and get ready to go for Paydirt. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. She's armed. I think we're all armed. Isn't this kind of like the point of this race? <laughs> Okay, um, cars fast. Oh, but. Gotta turn here. Don't jinx it! <laughs> okay, the handling is okay as far as I can tell at the moment. Speed also seems to be fine. Alright, I think. I think I can work with this. You just do the shooting. I can take care of the rest. Ooh, but apparently they can hurt you pretty badly here if you don't pay attention. Okay. So we have 31 checkpoints. Coming. Hold on! But so far, we're doing pretty well. Careful, gotta turn here. Oh, suddenly this guy is catching up again. Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> Holy hell. Yep, suddenly they were all behind me again. And they're not always driving very fairly, I suppose. Gotta be prepared for that. Alright. Let's go and take the lead again. Hold on! Ooh. Oh, damn it, I didn't slow down enough for this one. Yeah, just one, one bad turn and you will lose your lead here but I mean we still have quite a few checkpoints to go so we can recover we can recover well maybe not after this <laughs> Then again, they're not that far away. So, they still might be able to catch them. <laughs> this race is such a mess. Incredible. And again, uh, they're hurting me pretty bad here, so <laughs> gotta be careful. Alright. Not a lot checkpoints to go. But we can make it. Come on, we can we can totally do this. <laughs> yep. Good luck with that. And there we go. We did it. Well, what a race. We fucking won! Yeah, I can't believe it. After some of the stunts we pulled, yeah. First fucking place! It's not that I'm surprised, it's just 
<laughs> I know. First place. I heard you. Let's hold up at the finish line a minute, just in case. You got it. All right. That was quite <laughs> the adventurous race. And yeah, you your beast something? isn't looking so great. <laughs> it lost its doors and yeah, you will have to spend some time repairing this, I'm afraid. You ready to talk? I'm ready to talk. So, you do this every year? Do these races every year? My fourth time this. First time out I won. It gets you hooked. Really? I can't give it up now. Can't or won't. What's the difference? And why do you do this? You do this for the eddies, the winds, the glory. Why do you race? It's like you've got laser focus. You don't like winning? Um, well, sure, I do. Of course. <laughs> Who doesn't? See? That we got in common. And I always like to finish what I start, so let's win these damn races. That right. is the plan. Need a lift to the shop? I mean, we're off to a pretty good start here, right? Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I'll come with you. All right, let's go. Um, <laughs> your car really needs a new paint job, among other things now. Doesn't even have any doors anymore. But I mean, you won. That's the most important thing, right? And the beast actually handles pretty good, so I think we can use it in the next race as well, if possible. And now she's backing out of here, like, super slowly. <laughs> okay, but apparently nothing is going to happen on this ride, so let's just skip it. Again, why are you driving so slowly? <laughs> okay, we're already here. And she's off again. Okay, but um, apparently that's uh, the end of this quest. So there will be more races and I suppose she's going to tell me um, when they will take place. But yeah, um, <laughs> that was surprisingly... Um, successful. I didn't expect this because um, my experiences with driving in this game haven't been that great so far. Anyway, um, how about we take care of some gigs now because I haven't done a lot of these in recent episodes and I don't want to fall too behind on these uh, side jobs. So let's take a look at this one over here and um, I guess I'll bring you back once I've arrived. Alright, what do we got here? V, got a client who needs help with some internal corpo skullduggery. Our boy wants dirt on his arch nemesis, one Matthias Stowe. What do you say? You got your shovel ready? Briefs attached. Okay, well, this looks complicated. Let me have a look at the full description. Gig type thievery. Objective steal documents incriminating Mateo's stove. Location, Kandachi Factory, El Camino Road. Details. Your mom ever tell you, you, you tell you saying two wrongs don't make a right? Yeah, well, we're the third one. <laughs> Kendachi is about to select a new director of some shit department or other. That part doesn't matter. What's important is it's two candidates for one gig. Know where this is going, right? Bingo. One of them is my client and he wants dirt on his new arc nemesis, Matteo Stove. Main problem is that Stove's the human equivalent of unseasoned boiled scab. He's bland, he's boring. No bodies in his backyard, no dates with miners, nothing. But there's no way a guy in his position in a place like Night City is 100% dirt free. I mean, there's no fucking way. 
Couple contacts of mine say Stoff has a few strings tied to the Valentinos. You need to slip into his office and slip a few files off his computer. If we're lucky, we get something to back up the rumors casting Mr. Squeaky Clean Stoff his shot at the promotion. Okay, so I have to dig up some dirt on this guy. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised that they even bother to do this and not just try to fabricate something, some evidence. Um, okay, first of all, I see some turrets here. Maybe I should start by making sure they're not going to be a problem. And the camera as well. And now I may want to take control of the camera. All right, so let's take some enemies. That's a person, right? Oh, it's a robot. Uh, and yeah, this place is large. I mean, just look at the amount of cameras that we got here. Some random people just sitting around here. Oh, I can't put a tag on this guy because he's like behind a window. Really? Oh, what the hell? Um, River? I guess I'll answer. Lee, hey, I need your help. Um, this is not a good time, <laughs> but sure, what happened? <laughs> Sounds like it. What happened? I shouldn't talk about this on the hollow. We gotta meet. When and where? Tell me. Glenn, tonight. I'll flick you the details. Will you make it? Um, Do my best. Thanks, V. Till then. Probably not tonight, because I am a little bit busy breaking into this huge corpo f uh, company, office, whatever. <laughs> Something that I probably should be telling him. Um, yeah, this is this like a factory, as far as I can tell? Um, all right, let's just make sure I have tagged most of the enemies here. Okay, clearly, I've seen this already. And I have already tagged these guys and these guys. Huh. Can I put a tag on this ladder? Because I'm not sure, this might come in handy at some point. Okay, this is a guy in the entry pool that I couldn't tag a moment ago. Also, we have a potential alternate way inside here. Presumably on the other side of this building. Okay, and now we are back here. Um, hmm. Well, let me have a quick look around here. Specifically, I want to see if I can find, like, a different way to get into this place. Uh-huh. Oh, there's a camera over here. Let's turn it off right away. I mean, I should have known that because I actually saw the gate via this camera. So, um, now let's see. There's like a quest marker, but I'm not sure if, ooh. These boxes have like a mind of their own. Okay, there's another camera. Okay, here's the ladder that I've seen earlier. Let me see where this is going to take me. Oh, well, first of all, I do have a person here. Maybe I should this guy to make sure there aren't a lot of other people around here. All right. 
day and open this door as well. Hey, you hear that stone's falling into the Valentinos? Right, I need to find a way to take down this person. Um, ah, the memory wipe has become really expensive recently. However, hey, however, I may have a recipe against it. I can overclock now. Which means I can use more RAM than I have at the expense of HP. Which I guess I can afford in this situation. There we go. Oh, well. Who was getting suspicious here? Alright. This may actually be the place where I need to go. Okay. Good work so far. Um, I would like to have a look at this. Archived conversation. Mateus and bro. <laughs> Mateus, when will be ready? First and last time I do this. Bro, chum, don't know how I can thank you. Mateus, when this is over, you can get the hell out of my life. Mateus, and screw your trap shut. The corpse find out I'm doing side biz with Tinos, I'm done. Okay, this already seems incriminating. Bro, love you too, man. I mean it. It's for your own good. This is no joke. There we go. He clearly is doing something on the side. Let's have a look at the computer. Um, first of all, let me use it. Night shift, new schedule from Mateo Stove to employees. I made a new schedule for night shifts. I'm expecting everyone to stick to it, Mateo Stove. Read carefully, Amanda Nelson. A certain corpo entered the net one night when suddenly everything glitched and he encountered a red demon who said, tomorrow at midnight you will be dead. This is probably not important. Um, reads a little bit like spam. And since I'm here illegally, I may not want to waste time on that. Let's just continue with the actual task. And there we go. Leave the Kandachi factory area. Let me have a quick look around here, but I don't think there's anything else. This guy is still standing here. It's kind of funny. Okay, well, um, this went much better than expected. Now let's just get out of here. All right. And yeah, we do have one guard over here. Um, yeah, let's just use the same trick again. I'm not sure if the memory wipe has become so expensive because these guys are higher level or if they just changed something in the overall balance of the game because I don't remember it being quite as expensive before. Maybe these are just very high level enemies and that's why I need more RAM for the memory wipe. But okay, um, that should be all. Now let's get out of here. Perfect. That was a job well done. Mwah, beautiful work. Queen. I think so Stove's too. finished, even if you don't know it yet. <laughs> Big thanks. Contracts closed and the eddies are flying at you. I also think that this was very good work. <laughs> okay, so that's one gig down. Um, let's see, do we have any other gigs in the vicinity? There's like one over here. Got a cyber psycho here. 
And I mean, we have some over here that I still need to do. Let's maybe check out this one. That's a very roundabout way to get there. Um, maybe I will try to look for a fast travel spot in the vicinity and uh, and just go there that way. But either way, I will bring you back once I've arrived at the new location. Alright, um, our location is somewhere over here. Let's see what's the best way to get there. Okay, this has got to be it. We have a gig. You need to retrieve a car. At the moment, a 6-3 car. See the attachment for more on the wheels. <laughs> and its owner. And by retrieve, you mean steal. <laughs> Geek type search and recover. Objective upload virus and retrieve Jake Estevez custom car. Location McBride Street details. Why is it some unwritten law of the world that every talented techie has a shit poor character? Only God knows. Jake Estevez is one such genius among techies and an asshole among shitheads. 15 minutes with the man and my barrel against his forehead, but good news is we found a way to get along. Jake's been a grease monkey for 6th Street about two weeks now. Of course, I'm not on good terms with 6th Street, but I do grudgingly admire their patience. It is, after all, a virtue. <laughs> Over that time, Jake's been doing a custom job on a car for them. His life's work, he says. Designed the soft for it too. Remember I said he has a shit poor character? Yeah, well, he pissed off the wrong pendejos in 6th Street Gang and had to Delta and never look back. Bottom line, Jake wants his precious car back. Got the 6th Street Gang auto shop, upload the virus and send you and uh, get it back for him. Don't scratch the right and you'll get extra. <laughs> well, <laughs> I will try. We'll both be flush after this. Okay. Um... Come here, please. Already seen this, right? Meet me in the evening on the corner of Pacifica Boulevard and Market Street. Okay, um, I will eventually. And yeah, I've already seen this. Now, um, let's see. I can see some people over here. And I'm pretty sure I saw one here. Um, let's try to ping this guy. Right. I see more people. Can't put a tag on this one. Might be too far away. Uh, sometimes this doesn't work as I would want. <laughs> And there's a bunch of people in here. But the only thing that I can put a tag on is some of the equipment. Okay, so I may have hey, to do watch it. another ping. Um, let's see if we can find a good way in here. Okay, we got another person over here. So that's not going to be a good way inside. And it doesn't look like I can go through over here. Hmm. This place might be better protected than that corpo factory. Alright. Let's maybe wait for this guy to turn around. Then I might be able to sneak through this alley over here. Then again, he might not ever turn around. case I have to do okay now he's on the move all right and he seems to be alone here better not be any trouble oh, well <laughs> that was um, a problem 
Let's use a quick memory wipe. And let's take her out. Okay, well, I can't believe that actually worked. Okay, so that was close, but we did it. Um, got a door here. The problem is I'm not entirely sure where I have to go. So far it doesn't really say much in that regard. And yeah, I have taken all kinds of unnecessary stuff here. I mean, there's a car over here, but I'm not sure if that's the one that I need. It might be the one over here. Seems more likely, to be honest. He said this baby's untraceable. The whole thing's basically swapped out, part for part. Oh, well. Maybe they're talking about the car I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, sure. Let's hack into this. Why not? Um, 7A, 55BD. That's at least two of them. And 1C to make it a triple. Coming for me! Oh, suddenly someone actually detected me. All right. Well, in that case, let's Keep just do it the hard way. I can work with that. Get uh. no. There we go. It probably is better to take down everyone in here first that reduces uh, the danger to the car because if i have to escape in the car and they try to shoot me or try to follow me it might damage the car right so maybe just making sure all of them are disabled is actually the best way to do this all right how about you come on out and let's talk? Well, come and find me. Alright, there we go. Can I get a lock on you? I can. Kinda. Ah. Oh, and I won't hurt. now I fell down here again. Alright, um... find a way out of here so um, is it the car over here that I've been looking for I mean this is not much of a car <laughs> and I first have to upload the virus okay I have to go up here that's where I have to upload the virus right first let me take care of these guys <coughs> we got another one over here Look, I'm actually trying to be nice. I'm just overheating you. I'm not actually shooting you. So... Be grateful. Be grateful. <laughs> anyway, that's where I have to go. Let's have a quick look around here. And I guess I will also deal with this guy here. And that's probably all of them. So, let's pick up some loot. And... Okay, I can first use it. Tuned Thornton, well done. From Mark Sidon to Jake Estevez. Jake, man, was supposed to let you know my wheels are rolling good now. Kudos, mate. I've taken a look at injection angle and pressure and think there might be some room for tweaks. But I know you know your cars like no one else. And that soft you installed for the rev limiter first rate. Seriously, cheers, Mark. Okay. Um, interestingly enough, this one was already marked as red, but I don't think I've read it before. Hey, Jake, have another request. 
uh, just like last year. Using a company car again and want you to slip in that soft, you know? To disable the tracker, help me disappear after working hours and remove fuel limits. Can you help me out here? Heard you got a new place. That changed anything price-wise? For now, I'll flick over the same you charged last time. I'll toss in the beer sometimes on me. Big thanks, my dude, Tino Z. We need to meet. From Lupe Dolores to Sebastian, please talk to me. What am I supposed to do? You know, when it comes out that Jake is dead, they might even make you kill him. Please, Seb, I promise it's the last time. But Joaquin can't find out about it. Can you do it for me like old times? I'm not sure what this is about. I guess this is about the job that I'm supposed to take here. Registry hive error. System boot failure caused by instruction incompatibility during unauth unauthorized access attempt. Um, instruction lock in range automated lock prompted by detected data corruption recovery module disabled, auto config module disabled, A activation module removed, reset module removed. Again, not sure what to make of this. Let's just install the software. There we go. And now I just have to get out of here. <laughs> and yeah, I think it's going to be easier to steal the car undetected and without damage when everyone else is already disabled. Um, yeah, let me quickly pick up some of the loot that I left behind here. This one as well. Now, I guess this is the car we're looking for. Um, I've seen this already. Um, how do I get here to that car? Okay, I can sneak through here. All right, let's go. I will be very careful. Not like during that race where I completely <laughs> destroyed that car. I mean not completely, but enough. <laughs> right, now I just have to deliver this car. This might take a while because I'm going to drive very, very carefully to make sure I won't damage it. Alright, I think I have found the location. It was actually kind of hard to find it because it's in a little side road. And I actually went past this road the first time, but I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Okay, let's um, park the car carefully. There we go. We did it. And now I have to talk to Jake. I guess that's him over here. You really saved my ass. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> so, are you going to sell it now? What about the ride? You gonna fence it? Well, I have to sooner or later. Know a guy in Sacramento, a collector? He'll set me up for life. <laughs> okay. oh, but for now, I'm taking her with me. Spruce her up a little more. All right, well, good luck with that, but um, I guess I will be looking for you now. Wouldn't stick around too long if I were you. Sixth Street are going to be searching high and low for this beauty. I'm leaving town today. It's like Uncle Estevez always said. If you got to choose between your ride and saving someone mm -hmm. else's ass, always choose the ride. <laughs> All right. At least you know that a ride's never going to betray you. People, on the other hand... Well, I guess that's true. <laughs> But then again, that's true about pretty much every inanimate object, not just cars. All right, there we go. So will I have to the call? The end is nigh. Um, no, he's going to call me. There we go. Excellent. The car has 
reached its owner. Now the money will reach you. Good deeds are always repaid in kind. Closing the contract. <laughs> Until next time. Right. I'm not sure if I actually got like a bonus now for delivering it without crashing it. Because I did like touch a wall at one point, so maybe that counts as a scratch after all. <laughs> and yeah, I guess this was not my best work. Got detected. Um, and I may have damaged the car a little bit, but you can't always win every time, a hundred percent, right? Okay, so I guess um, that's maybe enough for today. Um, I am not entirely sure what to do next time. Maybe I will actually continue with one of the main missions, or maybe I will just uh, take care of more side business. But either way, for now, I'm going to call it a day. So as always, thank you for watching, and see you again next time.